What's going on guys? My name's Theo Atrix, and with the recent Clue Scroll expansion, I had to make a video on the best ways to obtain Clue Scrolls. With the new update came beginner clues available to free to play, stackable clue caskets, the new Clue Scroll boss, the Mimic, as well as over 40 items, including the new Third Age Drudic robes from Master Clues, currently the rarest items in the game. Throughout this video, I'll be going from beginner through to master clues, showing the best and fastest ways to get them. Starting off with the brand new beginner clues, most low level free to play monsters in old school drop these clues, with the exception of a couple of monsters like level one rats and small spiders. Monsters like cows, goblins, chickens all drop beginner clues, although higher level free to play monsters like lesser demons or ankus don't drop them. You can also receive beginner clues from clue bottles, geodes, or nests from fishing, mining, and woodcutting. Getting a clue drop from skilling rolls similarly to getting a pet, in that you have a better chance of getting a clue drop with a higher skill level. Also, the chance of getting a clue varies with the tier of rock, tree, or fish that you're getting. So for example, you'll have a much better chance of getting a clue scroll mining runite ore than copper ore. Upon getting a clue drop from skilling, there's a 28.5% chance that it's beginner or easy, 21.4% that it's medium, 14.2% that it's hard, and 7.1% that it's an elite clue. Also, if you already have a clue scroll in your bank and it rolls that specific type of clue scroll, you simply just won't get a clue nest, geode, or bottle. This means you can't have a better chance of getting a certain type of clue by having other clues in your bank. Now back to beginner clues, probably the fastest way in the game to get any type of clue scroll is implings. And you can buy the implings off the grand exchange and open them without any level requirements for a chance at a clue scroll and other random rewards. Both baby and young implings now give beginner clue scrolls. One in 50 for baby and one in 25 for young implings. That means on average, 50 baby implings or 25 young implings will get you a clue scroll, which costs quite a lot at this current time for a beginner clue. Moving into easy clue scrolls, and baby and young implings also still give easy clues as well as gourmet implings. Once again, I'm showing the average price per clue. As you can see, it's quite a bit higher, not entirely worth it for an easy clue scroll. A very popular and great way to get easy clues is pickpocketing ham members, both the female and male members. Both of them have the same chance, one in 50 of giving an easy clue scroll. While pickpocketing, there's a chance that you'll get knocked out and sent outside of the ham hideout. Well, actually wearing ham robes gives you a lower chance of getting kicked out and by wearing the full set, there's a very, very slim chance that you'll get kicked upstairs when you're knocked out. Goblins, men and women all have a 1 in 128 drop rate for an easy clue scroll, making them an easy and fast killing target to get clues. A lot of men can be found in the Edgeville house opposite the bank and Lumbridge has a lot of goblins. A dwarf cannon can considerably speed up your kills here and a blowpipe or a fast attacking weapon will get the most kills per hour. In my opinion, the best monster to kill for easy clues is thugs in level one wilderness inside of the Edgeville dungeon. When killing these, you can bring an imbued ring of wealth, which is created with a regular ring of wealth and a ring of wealth enchantment scroll, which can be bought off the grand exchange or the bounty hunter store. Wearing this ring gives a double drop rate of clue scrolls when killing any monster in the wilderness. So pairing that with a decent weapon, you can get clue scrolls at a one in 64 drop rate instead of a one in 128 drop rate when you're killing the thugs. Moving on to medium clue scrolls, and I'm going to start off with a bit of a random way to get one. With partial completion of Monkey Madness 1, and you can also do this if you've finished Monkey Madness, you can make your way back to the Ardoyan Zoo with your Karumjan Monkey Grigri, your Monkey Speak Amulet, some coins, and some noted bananas. I'd recommend at least 500. Then wear the Grigri next to the Monkey Minder and talk to him. Once he puts you into the monkey cage, speak to the talkable monkey until you pick him up. Then take off your Grigri and talk to the monkey minder again and get let out. Make your way to the general store nearby and sell 50 bananas and buy them back to unnote them and use all of them on the monkey in your inventory. You can also do that at a bank. For each banana that you use on him, there's a one in 256 chance that he spits out a medium clue scroll. This can only be done once. 
So once you get one clue out of him, you'll never get another one again. Realistically, it takes only five minutes to get you a medium clue doing this. Implings are again the fastest way to get medium clues. And there's three types of implings giving mediums, earth, essence, and eclectics. Eclectics are the most popular choice due to them being a lot cheaper to get a clue than the others. But with the recent clue update, the prices of these implings has skyrocketed. There's also two monsters I recommend for medium clues. The first is killing guards in Varrock, Edgeville, or Falador. And all of these places you can bring a cannon to considerably speed up your kills. A far faster way to get mediums is Ice Warriors at the Ice Plateau in the Wilderness because you can take advantage of the Ring of Wealth imbued and you can also take a cannon here, but of course that will up your risk. In terms of hard clue scrolls, you can once again get them very quickly from Implings, Natures, Magpies, and Ninjas to be specific. The average price per clue is considerably higher than the medium clue prices, so it's really not recommended for hard clues at all unless you're loaded. My much more preferred method of getting an elite clue but always gives a hard clue is Skatizo Totem Farming. With the recent update of being able to get more than one totem at once, you can camp monsters in the catacombs of Kuren to fight Skatizo, who has a 100% chance of giving a hard clue as long as you don't already have one. The drop rate for the totem pieces is an easy formula. It's one in 500 minus the hit points of the monster you're fighting. So if the monster has 100 hit points, it has a one in 400 chance of a totem piece. With that, camping lower hit points monsters is a lot better for getting totem pieces. For example, if it takes you two minutes to kill a brutal black dragon for the one in 185 drop rate of a totem piece, but in that same two minutes you could kill 15 level 22 skeletons, 15 skeletons is a one in 32 chance of giving a totem piece using binomial probability. So with that, the best monsters to farm are low level monsters like skeletons, hill giants, and my favorite ones are ankus since they can be chinned or bursted for really fast kills. There are two other monsters I recommend killing specifically just to get hard clues. Firstly, the jellies in the catacombs of Kuren have a one in 64 chance of dropping them. Probably the cheapest and fastest way to get a hard clue is by killing hellhounds. And with a base drop rate of one in 64, you can make it a one in 32 drop rate by using an imbued ring of wealth in the wilderness. I recommend killing the hellhounds near the wilderness lever and you should take no more than three items and some food with you. Now for elite clues. And as I mentioned earlier, Skatizo farming is one of my favorite ways to get an elite clue where killing him gives a one in five chance of getting one as well as the 100% chance at a hard clue. Another great source of elite clue scrolls is Barrows. And for each brother you kill in Barrows, there's a one in 200 chance of getting an elite clue when you loot the chest downstairs. So in total, killing all six brothers adds up to a one in 33 chance of getting an elite clue per Barrows run. There are also a range of soloable bosses that you can camp for elite clues. Callisto, Venenatus, and Vertion have a 1 in 50 chance of an elite clue with the imbued Ring of Wealth. Vorkarth has a 1 in 65 chance of a clue. Zora is 1 in 75. And lastly, you can cannon and camp black dragons in the Revenant Caves for a 1 in 250 chance at an elite clue, which is still quite common for such a high tier clue scroll. Another way to get elites is high level gambles at Barbarian Assault. And if you're efficient and really good at Barbarian Assault, this is a great way to get clues since they're only a one in 15 chance of getting one. The last way to get elites is only for the super rich and that is dragon implings. You will overall lose quite a lot of money doing this and I really don't recommend it. But for those that want a super fast elite clue scroll, you can open around 50 dragon imps for a massive bite of your bank account. The last clue in the game is Master Clue Scrolls, and there are two ways in the entire game you can get them. The fastest way is by getting them from another clue scroll. The chance of getting one varies through from easy through to elite clues. The second way is by trading an easy, medium, hard, and elite clue scroll to Watson, located in the Hosidius house. He'll take all of them, and after giving all four, you'll receive a master clue scroll. This is a great way to get rid of clue scrolls if you can't or don't want to do. For example, if you're a hardcore Iron Man and you get a clue scroll that's in the wilderness, you can give it to Watson to contribute towards a master clue and then go get a new clue scroll. 
While we're on the topic of Watson, I'd like to mention the new Mimic Clue Scroll boss. When opening an Elite or Master Clue, there's a chance that it will turn into a Mimic Casket, allowing you to fight the Mimic boss for a chance at some juicy Clue Scroll rewards. A very important thing you need to know is to activate the chance of getting a Mimic Casket, you need to speak to the Strange Casket upstairs in Watson's house. If you don't talk to him, there's no chance of getting the Mimic Casket when you open an Elite or Master Clue Scroll. Anyways guys, that's my video on the fastest ways to get clue scrolls. Be sure to leave a like if you learn a few methods or something interesting today. My level 1 to 99 Slayer Guide will be released next week. I'm just finalizing a few little parts of it, so if you're new around here and don't want to miss it, be sure to hit that subscribe button to my channel. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.